what happened, what happened, what happened. And in my drowsy sleep, I said, I don't know what you're talking about. She said, they're dead. They're all dead. And it was my first spring break from college. And it was a very rainy, cold, dreary March morning uh, when I got a frantic phone call at 6 a.m. And it was my neighbor's mother who was hysterical, asking me what happened, what happened, what happened. And in my drowsy sleep, I said, I don't know what you're talking about. She said, they're dead. They're all dead. And I said, who? And she said, Mark, Jeff, and Bruce. Um, all three of them were three really great high school friends of mine. And um, I just kind of went numb and I couldn't talk for a moment and I, I, I just said I don't know anything I said if I find something out I'll call you so as the day went on um, we found out that only two of my three friends had passed which was still just too much to bear and the driver of the car uh, was in critical condition and he was hanging on by a thread we didn't know if he was going to make it or not my friend Mark went to East Stroudsburg with me, and we were supposed to drive back to school the next day um, for, the, for the new semester, and I had to go back without him, which was just traumatic. And um, I had to come home that week for their funerals. And it just wasn't right. You're not supposed to die when you're 19. And all three of the guys were really good guys. Um, they didn't do drugs. They, they were smart. They were kind. They were athletic. They were like these all-American boys that just made one, one drastic mistake that took their lives. It is a scene that no parent wants to face. A teen crashes her car. Her father rushes to the scene, but his hopes and his prayers are not answered. Good evening, I'm Larry Menzies. And I'm Alicia Lane. A Lehigh Valley community tonight is grieving a popular student athlete who planned to attend college this fall. She crashed into a tree at Rextown Road in Williams Circle in Washington Township, Lehigh County. My daughter was, her name is Mallory Bomboy. We had her for 18 years. She was a very, very active person. She played four sports and was actually going from one sports practice to another when she had her accident. She was by herself in the car, um, on the phone. Um, they think she hit a rut in the road and just overcompensated, went off and hit a tree. I did get a phone call from her friend who she was on the phone with, um, but she didn't let on that anything had happened. She didn't know what happened even herself. She just knew that she lost contact with her. Um, and she just asked me if I knew where she was. Well, we started to see way too many folks injured and dying from distracted driving. Myself and two emergency room physicians, Drs. Kane and Dr. Barr, uh, started this project. Uh, we basically got tired of telling parents and loved ones that your loved one won't be coming home, there won't be a walk down the aisle, there won't be a graduation or a prom, all because of something that's so simple as paying attention to the road in front of you. Uh, my message to you is to drive smart. Don't take unnecessary chances on the road. Definitely pay attention to the road in front of you and try and limit your distractions. I know we won't be able to eliminate them all, even things like the buzzer going off because a warning light on your dashboard is, is blinking or something along those lines. And there are some things that we just can't avoid. But if we can try and limit distractions, we can eliminate some of that 80% of crashes that occur within three seconds of a distraction. So that to me is the simple message, drive safe, drive smart.
Driving is not the time where you're trying to get something else done. Driving is not the time where you do your homework or eat your breakfast or catch up on texting or phoning your friends. Taking a vehicle that weighs hundreds if not thousands of pounds and moving it at highway speeds is enough multitasking. The problem with, with teens is I think had I been doing what she was doing, my reaction might have been different. They don't have the experience to react. So that's the biggest message I would say to anybody. Um, just never drink and drive. Um, life is precious and it's, it's just not worth the risk.